my name is Christopher Severy, and I'm the manager at the Raven News Bookstore in Northampton, Massachusetts. What books did I read this summer? Yeah. Okay. I read Death in Venice by Thomas Mann, and it's sort of like a summer read because he does go on a vacation, um, but then he has a horrible time and he dies of cholera. Um, but it was the best book I read this summer. Mm -hmm. I also I read The Founding Fish, which is all about the shad, which is a fish that lives in the Connecticut River and how it played an important role in American history. And I think it's a good summer read because it's about nature and uh, it's always fun to learn something during the summer. Um, and actually another book is Cod, which is about uh, by Mark Kurlansky, who um, is a very famous writer uh, who writes a lot of nature books and history books. And it's about the important role that Cod played in American history. I picked these actually because John McPhee and Mark Kurlansky um, write books that are pretty much interesting to anybody. Anybody could pick them up and read them and anybody could actually learn something by reading them and they're fun reads, interesting subjects as well. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which is perfectly for people who aren't big readers. Um, it's not difficult to read. Um, it's kind of racy and uh, exciting. And then there's always like the movie tie-in so that they, they can augment their reading with that kind of entertainment too. It's very entertaining. For The Beach, um, I picked um, Jared Diamond's Collapse, um, which is also a history book. Um, it's not a difficult read. You'll learn some stuff, but it's about how societies and civilizations use up their resources and then uh, kind of fall apart. But it's also an exciting and interesting read. And also another Mark Kurlansky book, which is called Salt, which is great for the beach because there's a lot of salt at the beach. The most influential book I read was The Idiot by Dostoevsky. Um, and in my 20s, it sort of taught me that a novel can be really philosophical and highly moral. And uh, Dostoevsky became my favorite writer, and I've read all of his books now. For kids, um, Nathaniel Philbrick wrote a book called um, The Tragedy of the Whale Ship Essex, which is a whale attacked a ship, and Melville, Herman Melville, learned about it, and that inspired Moby Dick. So he wrote this book, and then they made a little one, a uh, condensed version for young adults, and it's called Revenge of the Whale. It's a really exciting story for kids. A lot of stuff happens. They get shipwrecked, and they actually turn to cannibalism and that sort of thing. I think kids would really like to read it. Philip Pullman's The Golden Compass. Um, lots of kids have read it already. If they like it, there are, it's a series, so there are other ones. And then also, if they like it, there's always the movie tie-in to sort of, again, augment the experience and be entertained by it. I would recommend to people to check out Graham Greene, who's kind of a classic British writer uh, in the 20th century. I've been reading some of his books this summer and they're really exciting.